Well, thank you very much, Dave. I appreciate that. Uh, before I do sing something, I, I would like to introduce somebody. It's always a proud moment when uh, a parent, uh, my wife actually is out here this evening, and uh, we have three daughters. And one of our children have uh, decided to pursue this singing career. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, could I introduce my daughter, Ellie Grace? <laughs> Well, hello. Sounds like you're having an awful lot of fun out here. <laughs> so it glad to be here. It back there. It, it certainly cer does. Yeah. Isn't this cozy? <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> Hi there. I feel like I should introduce myself We're in each other's face, you know? Uh, uh, so what do you want to do? You want to do uh, the... Yes. Hello? Okay, why don't you set that up? So uh, this first tune is one you might recognize. Uh, my dad likes to say that it was made famous by Shrek, which I often call him out on as in incorrect. But um, <laughs> it is uh, a tune you've definitely heard once, probably heard it a thousand times, and uh, probably will be tempted to sing along. It's called Hallelujah. I heard there was a secret chord that David played, and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major lift, the baffled king composing, hallelujah, hallelujah. Your faith was strong, but you needed proof You saw her bathing on the roof Her beauty in the moonlight over three hours While she tied you to her kitchen chair She broke your throne and she cut your hair seen this room and I've walked this floor I used to live alone before I knew ya and I've seen your flag on the mall Thank you. 
Wow. Aren't you kind? <laughs> you are indeed. My gosh. Very kind. Can we take you all with us? <laughs> Everywhere. My gosh. How lovely. Thank you. Well, I am actually going to have the pleasure of uh, removing myself from this stage and letting Ellie sing uh, uh, a beautiful song, and then I'm going to come out and do mine. So, ladies and gentlemen, Ellie Grace. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Peter, can you hear me okay? Everything's okay? This is uh, Peter Raylan on piano here, holding down the fort for us. Now, this next song is uh, one of my favorite songs to sing in all, in all music. I continually discover new music, and this is the tune that I always come back to. Um, and always exploring different ways to sing it, too. I'm sure you've heard it sung many different ways yourself. And whether it be, you know, a day that's scraping the bottom of the barrel or one, a day that I feel great, uh, it always levels me out. It's called What a Wonderful World. I see trees that are green Red roses too I see them bloom For me and you And I think to myself Oh, what a wonderful skies that are blue and clouds of white the bright blessed day oh and the dark sacred night and I think to myself oh what a wonderful of the rainbow so so pretty in the sky and they're also on the faces of the, the people going by I see friends shaking hands saying Thank 
you. Thank you. Miss Ellie Grace. All right, you've had enough stage, Ellie. Off, Ellie. She, um, she's been on uh, my show now. I, I have a variety show that I do, and it's called Robert Pilo and Friends, and we have guests from Broadway and different parts of the entertainment industry. And uh, she has up to, uh, I don't know, five songs now in the show, and she's always saying, you know, Dad, maybe I need another one. And I'm kind of going, no, <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> and I'm being told it'll be her show next year and I'll be her guest <laughs> that's okay if she can do it I'm there so uh, of course it's a, it's a pleasure to be here uh, by invitation by Dave it's a wonderful thing that he's doing in this family bringing recognition to this uh, to this cause and uh, it truly is a, a pleasure to know Dave and it's been a, a well over 15 years He's not only funny, he has a beautiful family, and I know that his two daughters and wife are here this evening, and um, it's always a pleasure to uh, share the stage. So, he asked me to sing this song. It is from Phantom of the Opera, and it's about unrequited love, and it's called Music of the Night. <laughs> Oh, 
No. 